If the horrors of Rue Morgue weren't terrifying enough for you, you can bring the horror home with Zombicide Season 3, Angry Neighbors. Angry Neighbors is the next exciting expansion for the Zombicide universe and requires at least one of the other standalone Zombicide games to play. Angry Neighbors features four new survivors to add to your collection and special human companion miniatures. They're to support you. These companions may be strong enough to survive on their own, but can't commit Zombicide like you do. Rescue them, lead them, and add their firepower and special abilities to your party. And you're going to need all the help you can get to survive the post-apocalyptic cityscapes of Angry Neighbors. Set at the same time as Rue Morgue, buildings have crumbled and roads have collapsed. Now gaping holes litter the city streets. With poor decision-making, you may find your survivors slowed down in these holes. And with a wrong move, you may just end up in the zombie-filled pit from hell. But don't worry that these dilapidated streets might trip you up once in a while, because you can do the same to the zombies. Build barricades, funnel zombies into holes, and light them up with your favorite new additions to the Zombicide Arsenal. Angry Neighbors adds all new weapons to your core game, as well as a collection of ultra-red equipment. These equipment cards offer the most powerful and potent zombie-obliterating weapons in the Zombicide universe to date. Perfect to up your survivors' survivability. And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. Woo! We're here, guys! Sorry, running a little late. We're back. Skype is We're back. Skype yeah. is the devil. Skype is... What's another name for devil, Matt? I think we went through this in seven cents. Beelzebub. <laughs> yeah. Diablo. Dude, Diablo. Diablo, dude. Diablo. Well, guys, <laughs> how's it going? It's May 1st, 2017. It's May Day, and I'm, my, I didn't edit my camera. Look, Lyle, I'm kind of in your shot. Dude, oh my god. Oh, look how, how next level this production how did you get is. Into, how did you get into my place? I don't know. That's freaking awesome, <laughs> though. Look at that. That's that's some next level plays right there. Look, here, I'm going to do this. Yep. Oh. oh, next level production. No one knows what happened. <laughs> what's going on, guys? We want to introduce to you the painter Flo herself. Say what's up to Flo, guys. What's up? So Flo is joining us tonight, guys, as another special guest painter, as you might have seen. And the uh, give her some, give her some crit cheers, everyone in chat. Throw some crit cheers. Flo is uh, joining us from New Mexico, a good buddy of Matt's. Painted a lot of Matt's, um, the others minis. Is that correct, Flo? Not the others. Oh, I thought I you did, did the others. We originally Cthulhu met Wars. playing Malifo, actually. Oh, Malifo, and then oh, you, you what, did okay. his Cthulhu Wars. That's Malifo. Or no, Cthulhu, Cthulhu, Cthulhu Wars. Wars. Yeah, Cthulhu Wars. Okay, cool. So she does a lot of painting, guys, and she's here tonight to talk to you guys about uh, the mini she specially painted to us, which we're going to show off to you guys. We're going to add into the mix. It's something we've been really we're excited very, about. We're very, very excited yeah, about. Yeah, we're very excited about because it's one of them is Amy. Amy's like OG, one of our favorite minis ever um, that's been in the game since season one for us, and now Flo has given her such awesome personality. So we're excited to bust that out for you. Um, but we're here to say hello. But first, I want to say, how are you doing, Flo? Doing pretty good. Yeah, feeling pretty good. You liking the snow yeah. in New Mexico? Oh, well, didn't have any today, but oh, that's good. I'm personally a fan of it, so yeah, I actually like the snow too. But I grew up in Oregon. I hate New I hate New York snow. New York snow is the worst, man. Yeah. It's all dirty and yucky. It is. It it's is. just it's just heavy and wet, dude. It's just yeah, it's, it's gross. It's it, all, it, when it, I think we've talked about this ice. before. We definitely have talked about this before because when it snows in New York City, everyone's like, oh. It's like Miracle yeah. on 34th Street. It's so romantic and great. No. no, no. It's yellow, it's brown slush, black, and it's awful. There's dead bodies. <laughs> there's garbage. Yeah. There's there's like dead dead animals. And people are just stepping over it. <laughs> no one thinks so. Yeah. It's yeah. so yeah. gross. It's bad. It's so <laughs> gross. Um, but yeah, so awesome. It's great to have you. Lyle, how you doing tonight, buddy? I'm doing good. I'm just pumped to be on the stream. My yeah. my United flight actually was on time from <laughs> so I'm, I'm back I'm back in Nashville. No delays from my flight from New York. Yeah. I did have a crazy two and a half hour delay flying out to New York uh, when I left on Friday, which sucked, but it's all good. Had a really good trip this weekend. Yeah, yeah. You you came hung out, back this hung way. out with Akbu actually with Angelo himself IRL nice. at, wow. at a uh, uh, we went to a college buddy's wedding, uh, which was pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I'm just pumped to be back home and on stream. Yeah, hanging out with you, with you beautiful people. Yeah, yeah. Drinking a Lacroix. Oh, he's, Lyle's got his Lacroix, guys. Lacroix, cheers, <laughs> cheers, Lacroix. Uh, that, how did you get off the United flight? 
Oh, um, I got dragged. Of okay, course. good. Okay, um, good, good, good. Yeah, good. I got that's dragged and bloodied. Uh, okay, no good, big deal. Good, good. <laughs> that's good. That's 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 the bonus. No, the the. Uh, no, no. The, the only the only thing that happened to me, and um, I'm starting to think that this is a pattern, is as a brown man living in Tennessee, the last three times <laughs> I was at the airport, <laughs> okay. even though I'm at, even though I'm TSA pre-check, uh, I get randomly screamed. Oh, <laughs> three that. times in a row. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's not cool. Well, I get the yeah. same type of thing, but involving my name, like any type of information I send in. Yeah. My full yeah. name is Florinda Cortez. Oh, okay. So they see it, yep. and they're like, oh, that's yep. obviously. Yeah, well, there, there you go. I mean, obviously a terrorist. How did you get <laughs> we, into America? We need extra <laughs> identification. <laughs> yes, absolutely. How did you enter this my, country? The, the background check I went through for TSA PreCheck just wasn't enough, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well... It's good to have you, buddy. Good to have you back. Maddie. it's good to have you. How you doing, buddy? Doing well, man. It's been a fun week. Yeah. Enjoyed myself. Matt, busy. what did you do yeah. for Tabletop Day? That's the question I want to ask you. What Which day of the week was Tabletop Day again? Uh, every Saturday. day for me is Tabletop Day, so oh, you have to understand that. Oh, Matt knows how to answer. I don't answer. celebrate a specific day. <laughs> but okay. I've been playing well board well played. games all week. So Get what, good. what day of the week was that? Saturday. Was that Saturday? Saturday. What did you play on Saturday for Tabletop Day? Well, I played some Rum and Bones then. Oh. Um, I know I played some Hero Realms, I think. I think we played a game yep. or two of that. I was there for that. Oh, okay. I taught Ron the Final Fantasy trading card game that we got a couple starters and some boosters for. Nice, nice. So, Damn. Yeah. You had, like, epic big, tabletop fun. day. Okay. <laughs> you, had, you had epic, didn't know it was tabletop day day. Yeah, yeah. It's just <laughs> the way it goes when you're hanging out with Ron, man. Oh, dude, Ron. Ron, next level Ron. So Flo, so so let's get back over to Flo, our special guest. Um, I, so Flo sent us some awesome minis. Uh, as you guys might have seen, our first painter stream was Sean. She did a similar thing to us. She painted us in a bomb, uh, the A bombs from season three and Amy. Um, but before we get into that, like we were mentioning before, you've done a lot of painting for Matt before. Uh, how did you get into painting miniatures and the like? Um, well, I've always been an artist. I was going to school for art. And I actually became really good friends with Miranda from Wargamer Girl. Oh, okay. And she actually introduced me to painting miniatures. Sick. Cool. Uh, a couple years later, and I'm doing it full time. What, what is it that uh, intrigued you about painting miniatures that you really enjoy? I really liked the way they looked. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> nice. I was like, ooh, this miniature is pretty. I'd love to paint that. I don't have the money to buy all of these. I'll just paint other people's. Yeah. Ah, there you go. Awesome. <laughs> That's a great idea. So, so you're currently trying to start doing it uh, as like a, a to, to bring in money and funding and stuff like that. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm actually the studio painter for Award Gamer Girl now. Oh, sweet. And other than that, I do commissions on top of everything. Awesome. So, so cool. So, just before before we get further into getting no flow, if you guys want to see some of Flow's work, you can head to Facebook.com. Uh, backslash the painter flow, right? Or search for her, the yes. painter flow at Facebook or Instagram, the painter flow. You can see a bunch of her awesome. I saw a bunch of your awesome Malifaux pieces on there, uh, stuff like that. And and like you said, you so you basically painted all of Wargamer's, Wargamer Girl stuff for her YouTube, every, anything you see of hers on YouTube and so forth? Um, A lot of the recent stuff. I didn't do her really early on stuff. I didn't know her then, but okay, cool. uh, I'm now doing all of her new stuff. Awesome, awesome. Um, so, so what, what do you use to paint? Like, so I want to get to know this hobby a little bit more. Like, what do you, what did, what do you usually like? What's your go-to paint? Like, what's your favorite paint brand? I mean, we're sponsored kind of by, we're part of Cool Me and Your Nuts Legion. So they have, I wanted to get something to like kind of give back to the artists, uh, of the stream as like giveaways and so forth and guests. But I don't like, I go through it and there's so many different kinds of paints. I'm like, <laughs> how do you even like, <laughs> how do you even choose what to use? Well I use Vallejo paints more most often. Okay. I just like the variety of colors that they have, um, that they have really bright colors you can use. Oh, okay. Um, I do use Citadel washes, though. I, I heard of... Uh, actually, Sean was saying he used those kind of paints, too, right, Lyle? I think so. I think, I think it's yeah. the same kind of paints he uses. Yeah, Vallejo, everyone, even Rel in chat is saying Vallejo hype. I, I'm pretty sure Sean was using Vallejo. <laughs> is that like... The, that must just be like a go-to brand right there. Oh, it's <laughs> Citadel Wash's hype crit. Nice, nice, Matt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matt's throwing that up in there. And yeah, guys, if you have any questions for Flo or want to ask her anything while we're talking to her, definitely, definitely go for it. Um, Matt, yeah, did you and have... I, um, and Robo and I just threw up the Facebook link uh, to facebook.com slash the painter flow. And also, if you go to her Facebook page, you'll see that there's a link to her Instagram as well, which is also of the same name. Sweet. 
And while we're on the while we're on the the, the subject of your, of your of your little business you've got going here and you're starting up, uh, Matt, did you have any questions? You had some good good questions of asking Flo before the stream started. Oh yeah, just stuff kind of involving uh, the way that you um, run the people connecting to you to have their stuff painted end of things. So I guess um, just kind of giving uh, people out there an idea of if they see some stuff they like and they wanted to have you paint anything from a, a mini to a bunch of minis. Um, I guess the first question is, is, uh, is, there any, is there any job that's too small or too big? I've not come across one yet. Okay. Um, obviously, if I get bigger jobs, it will take more time. And depending on how many people are giving me uh, work at that time, it may take longer. But first come, first serve, and I'll let you know. What are the biggest pieces you've cool. painted? Biggest pieces I've painted yeah. are the Cthulhu Wars. Yeah, those yeah, are cool. Nice. Those yeah, are those so are cool. pretty awesome. Man. And so if, uh, yeah, so if anybody had one mini, two mini, ten minis that they wanted you to paint, um, is the best place to message you from uh, to, like to your Facebook page and just be like hey like yes. what's up this is what I got cool um, my Facebook page is really good for contacting me because it will always let me know whenever I get any messages uh, I do also check my email account regularly and there's a link to that um, usually I'll put that up on my Instagram and the likes Thanks. so that you can see that also Sweet. And uh, cool. speaking of we paints, got we got a yeah, we got a question uh, from the chat uh, from Morel. Do you have a genre that you prefer to paint? Uh, fantasy, sci-fi, or other? Um, I really enjoy doing fantasy, but I also like Cthulhu Wars is totally where I'm very <laughs> happy. The yeah. horror. Oh, <laughs> horror, horror genres. okay. Nice, nice. Was I'm this your first time painting Zombicide? This was, yeah. Okay, cool. Did you like? Did oh, you wait, check out no. some more of the other minis? No, I lied. Okay. I lied. Last year at Valhalla, <laughs> I actually painted some of the zombies. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, oh, you, you mentioned playing there, and I was like, and, and talking about Valhalla, we mentioned it on stream before Matt went. Um, but what was mm -hmm. Valhalla? Can you explain what Valhalla was for the people? Um, Valhalla is this really big wargamer retreat. So they'll do all types of games. You just let them know what you're going to bring, and other people will bring similar types of games. They do board games. Um, it's fully catered. There's a hot tub that fits, like, 12 people in it. There's a full-size <laughs> pool indoor. What? Uh, and it's, I think, <laughs> it's at the Timber Moose Lodge, which I believe is the <laughs> largest rentable cabin in the U.S. Really? So right. that's wow. Utah. What? Damn. Really? <laughs> that's real oh, nice. I remember Matt sending us pictures of it and me being like, that's ridiculous. It's huge. It's amazing. I think you had a drone tour. I think if, if your cabin comes with a drone tour, it's uh, pretty yeah. legit. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Flo, when you were at yeah, this thing, awesome. did you run from said hot tub to the swimming pool? Um, I, I mean, I always have to do not that. that fast. I, I need to do it. I have to do it. If I'm at a hotel and they got the swimming pool and the hot tub, you got to go between. You got to get that rush. That they were on rush. different floors at this place. The hot yeah. tub was upstairs outside the kitchen, and the, the pool was like the entire bottom, middle-ish floor. Even more reason. But there is a direct route to it. It's just that you have to open a door, and then it leads into the little stairway that leads to the pool. Um, the actual hot tub is on the patio, like on the porch outside. So, uh. I mean, if you're overheating, you just step outside. You'll, you'll be good to go in no time. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that sounds so cool. Um, before we go on, Lovely Rose is saying, I've watched season one and two of Zombicide and starting season three. I'm glad I'm getting my money to buy these myself. Awesome, Lovely Rose. It's good to have you. Welcome to the camp. Good to see you in chat. She's going to go back to lurking. Yeah. It's good to see you. We always love, love hearing people doing the gauntlet, we call it. They've watched a lot, we've done a lot of Zombicide. Yeah. Um, just one more question would be like, what got you into board gaming and, and gaming in general? Or if it's war gaming that you're more into, stuff like that. Um, were, you were into that before painting in general? Yes. I mean, I've, I've been playing board games forever, um, nice. and I'm one of the sad people who still plays a ton of regular card games. <laughs> yeah, like what, though? Like what? I like regular card games. But, like Rummy and stuff like yeah. that. Do you play Skip? Oh, that's all um, good stuff, though. That's Skip, of course. Yeah! Millborns. <laughs> Do you play yeah, hand I play and a foot? lot of card games. Do you play Hand and Foot? Hmm? I've never played Hand and Foot. <laughs> oh, see, these are the games Matt and that's I is grandma talking. back. Yeah. Or, yeah, this is a this is our old school. These are our roots right here. Did you play Peanut? 
I did. I haven't played it much lately. I haven't played it in a while, really. Oh, that's hard. That's actually a hard game. It actually comes with its own deck of cards, right? Oh, yeah. People are, then, people are asking um, if you play if you play euchre. Euchre. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> euchre. Uh, I've never heard anyone that plays euchre. Oh, Maije, of course, plays euchre. <laughs> and so is Rel. Rel says hey, Midwest Remy rep- represent. <laughs> Going way back and play some go fish with people who don't know how to play games. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, oh, do you play spades? I mean, if you play hearts, you play spades, right? Um, I've actually never played spades. I was going to learn from one of my friends, actually, in a couple weeks here. Oh, I love this. See, these are the games. I went through such a huge spades, spades? and hearts oh, phase where I was just I was just playing that, like, every night. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't stop. The, yeah. The original those kinds. Those types of games are addictive. Oh, I love you get, like, Rummy five hundred. Get like really competitive. Yeah, Rummy's great. <laughs> Rummy five hundred, uh, five crowns, and oh, yeah, five crowns. King's Corner are the three games that I tend to play that people won't play me for. Play with me during because they don't like when I win. <laughs> so. oh, nice. Are you nice. at the point with like spades that you can, or, or hearts that you just call your bids? Like you just look around. There was one point I was playing way. You, you play those games enough. You sit there and go, it's got three, four, guaranteed. You look right at your hand. You're like, <laughs> yeah. done. Six, six. I get six bags yeah. right here. And they're like, how'd you know that? You're, you're like, you're like, I have a strong five, maybe a weak six. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really play them all that often anymore. It's hard to find people who will play them with me. So, yeah. um, so. If I had that at one point, I definitely don't anymore. <laughs> yeah, everyone in chat is like getting super hyped about this too. Oh, I have to bring that up. Diamond. Have you heard of the game Diamonds? I've heard of it, not played it. You gotta play. I that don't game. even know this. Diamonds. Diamonds. Diamonds is a game that came out. It's it's similar to like Spades, or you could say Hearts. You take tricks, and basically you have these like I have it in the back here. I, I had to dig it out, but you have a little cover um, that you sit behind and you collect diamonds from people, like legit little cool like diamond miniature diamond pieces. Um, for different amounts of the the value of the trick you get, I believe I could be saying that wrong. But if you're a fan of like hearts or diamonds at all, you gotta get you gotta play diamonds. It's it's awesome. I I, it, I think it's sold out like crazy. I mean, you, re- you heard it here about. first, guys. If you're a fan of diamonds, you have to play diamonds. If you're a fan of spades <laughs> and hearts, you have to play diamonds. Don't play clubs. Clubs is horrible. No no love for the club. No love for the club. No. Yo. <laughs> what 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 what? I thought you know it, but I thought there was love in this club. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's all kinds of love up in the club, Lyle. There's always love for clubs. Yeah. I had this college roommate back in the day who, uh, for some reason, like seriously, six out of seven nights a week, he would just play slapjack, like just aggressively play slapjack every night, right? And he was like this <laughs> short, kind of like slapjack. cool dude named Jer. So, Jer, if you're watching this one day, um, I'm giving you a shout out. But Jer, like, he not only played slapjack every night, like, at least six out of seven nights a week, he, like, actually kind of ended up getting, like, the ladies with it, which was an extra shout-out because, I mean, like, I would never have thought playing slapjack in undergrad would ever net you, you know? Anybody would see that as, like, getting any play, but he pulled it off, so good well, for you, if Jeff. if you ever bring up slapjack around Donald, who's my roommate, uh, he's always going to bring up slap Donna 5, which is a game him, he and his brothers made up. Where they play it just like Slapjack, but uh, whenever a person pulled a five, that person got hit by everybody <laughs> else at the table, and it was just to beat everybody Punch him in the up. face. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, well, Robo did want to ask you a legit question. Now that we got it, we got off on our tangent. We're here to talk about your, your awesome skills at Manny Painting. We're going to get into that, guys. Cause we are, but he wanted to ask, and this is legit, what would you say was your most difficult model, thing on a model, that you've had to paint, and why? Basically, what kinds of painting blocks do you run into? Like, what's I mean, the in challenge? general, painting faces on the really small miniatures is difficult. Um, probably the smallest miniature I worked with is the Investigators from Mansions of Madness. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. It's really hard to get the face detail on things like that. I know. Yeah. I'm trying to think so if there's anything else. Are you familiar with Discord, Flo? Like, so... Oh, actually, so we have a great Discord community. Our great community, our awesome camp here, we're the best camp on Twitch. We have, a, like, Robo is, a, is one of the painters. He's been paying, painting a bunch of stuff. Uh, Rum and Bones, I, I know a lot, recently putting up pictures. Sean, they've been putting stuff up, and it's ironic that you say faces, because I know that's what they're always talking about in the chat, too, is, like, getting the eyes, like, really well done. I mean, it's... it's it, it, I don't well, know. Oh, yeah, and then it. if you're off by the tiniest bit, it looks like they're sloth from the Goonies, and <laughs> it's all sorts <laughs> All sorts of bad. 
<laughs> yeah, oh, even Robo awesome. saying it's cool to hear that's a common thing. Yeah, that, that would. Uh, yeah, that's that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I was gonna say like if you mess up when you're painting your minis, like, like how do you how do you like redo it? Like how do you fix? Do you have to just like wipe it clean or like if you're if you're like really getting in there and you get like the capes all like perfect and you're getting in, but you get in behind the cape and you're like, oh no, this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're going on a thin enough, thin enough layer, you can just go over it, and it's oh, not going to be that big a deal. You don't lose that much detail. Mm. Um, that's why you water down your paints. Um, oh, also a trick, because you're using acrylics, if you put in a little bit of water on your paintbrush, you can sometimes lift up the paint you just put on. Oh, all right. That's, that's Tips a little... and tricks, guys. Guys, Tips can we tricks. get some crit notes? Works on, works on little bits. You can't do it with big, big areas. Oh, but... okay. Guys, can we get some crit nose? That's awesome. No. There you go. Some crit. No. Do you have so that that? But let's get into. The, we're going to show off those minis. We're going to get into this gameplay with Flo because we want to. We don't want to take too long here getting into the gameplay. Um, but I did want to say, what uh, do you have any other awesome tips for people looking to get into miniature painting? Um. Or advice, if they're start, if someone's curious. My my tip is when you're starting out, go by the original artwork. Don't try to make it your own because. If you don't know what you're doing, it can turn into a mess real fast. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I have a tip, too. Yeah. It's called Don't Do It and Contact Flow. <laughs> and Contact Flow. Like, yeah. Contact me and I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not going to be painting miniatures ever no. again. I mean, I'm happy to paint some guys because yep. we're sponsored by Sharpie. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I use Sharpie. That's how we, that's how we do it here in the camp. Sharpies to our house. Would yeah, be the yep. least I'm totally sending Sharpies thing. to people. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> I've also used spray paint. It's <laughs> mm -hmm. a good well, one. It's a good base coat, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's it. I mean, um, that's yeah. it. Uh, I mean, I didn't call it a base coat. I call it the finish. <laughs> I just, <laughs> he, goes, he goes straight to the finish. <laughs> done. <laughs> base coat. <laughs> Wash. One and done. <laughs> no, any grit oh, that's on really? there, I want it to stay on there. <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> yeah. So next level mini. So if you ever see definitely those easier to use higher quality paints. By the way, well, um, like Valendo Miranda paints. has this tendency to use like apple barrel paints with her stuff. Oh, is that not good? And those are really thick. Mm. <laughs> They're like plastic. It's can be oh. real bad if you're using those. You want to use like, higher okay. quality paints. They go on smoother. They're thinner. Yeah, you work a I, lot better with those. Are they called apple bottom paints? Like, because they go on thicker. And, <laughs> thick, is that do what you said? Do they have fur apple on their boots? Bees. Are there boots, boots on the, the fur? fur? Yeah, <laughs> the fur. Apple the bottom fur? paints. I'm looking for now. Oh, you're looking for her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That's awesome. Well, guys, like we said, you can contact Flow at facebook.com slash backslash Flow or The Painter Flow. Um, you can ask him way more questions in chat. We'll try to catch them all. I know Robo's like, oh, they missed it. <laughs> he did yeah. definitely ask your question, guys. We'll totally and, and we'll try to pass them on to Flow or she'll see them herself. Um, and we appreciate all the good stuff here. So let's get into this game, guys. We want to show off these minis and then let's rock and roll. We'll probably have some more questions. But while well, before we show her minis, I have to promote Thursday show, One Deck Dungeon, Forest of Shadows. We're doing a Kickstarter preview with designer Chris, I'm going to say his last name wrong, Seislik? As Monty Games in chat. Um, we're going to be giving away a copy of One Deck Dungeon, the plastic edition, worth 80 bucks. He's giving away a copy of this game, so come win it yourself on him, which is awesome. One Deck Dungeon's a great yes. little dungeon crawler for like two players. Um, he's going to be kind of going over what the new Kickstarter includes. If you haven't played the first One Deck Dungeon game and what Forest of Shadows brings to the game. Matt, have you played One Deck Dungeon? No, I, I have not. I have not. Yeah, definitely got to check this out. It's, it's a really cool game. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun playing with him. He's going to teach us the game, and then we're going to show it off as best we can. So uh, come yeah. join us on Thursday for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, really, really pumped to play this game. And, and guys, yeah, it, and win you can a, win a win copy. The game. It's so yeah. cool, dude. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So let's jump over to the minis. Oh, she turned around. Okay, so... <laughs> So here's Amy's back. <laughs> It'll slowly go on its own. Go. So here we go. We're, it's rotating slightly. So this is Amy flow. It turned out great. Um, I like the detail on the pants. Um, I don't have the original art with me. I'm trying to see. Did you try to do some of your own things with this, or you kind of followed the original artwork yourself? Um, for the most part, I followed the original artwork. Okay. Yeah, it looks great. Oh, here's the. So this is the A bomb from season three. 
he's rad. I mean, I love the Dude, blood that coming out of his arm. Mouth. That arm is awesome. Yeah, this is <laughs> Amy Butt. <laughs> Is Grotesque. so freaking cool. <laughs> yeah, I love yeah. how you did the blood, like the dark blood around the spike, like it come out of the, come out of the. There's like the, a the, bulging vein oh, that's the happening. It's like it's just so freaking cool. Yeah. I love it so much. And I apologize. These these are iPhone shot photos without the best lighting in the world. But yeah, I just wanted to get a photo of his face there. I think you did his face like really cool. I love the sunken yeah. eyes, like the back. These things are tiny, dude. So yeah. like, that's not easy. The bone. Oh, there's Amy's face. So here's Amy on the front. I like that you got the sword. Yeah, yeah. This yep. Robo changes. saying I like her eyeshadow. Daps saying I like her hair. Yeah, I love the chain. Get a lot of compliments in chat. The backpack, the boots are done well. Like this is awesome. Did you yeah, have fun? I think the pants Amy? Are Would great. you say Amy was pretty? Would you say these were kind of challenging in terms of size? A little bit less so than some of the other models I've come across. Okay. Um, I was just trying to kind of capture the style. Um, right. Side. Right. So. Cool. No, these are cool. So this is what we get to play with, guys. We're so honored to have these flow. Thank you so much. Um, we just wanted to show them off in detail because I'm going to have them on the board here, and hopefully the, a bomb makes an appearance. Of course, if it does, it could be really bad for this mission. <laughs> so yeah, guys, if you deal, uh, JXM saying the detail on the pants and belt is legit. Right on, right on. <laughs> Amy Bun Dude. shot says Maddie. <laughs> That's nice, man. And and like keep this, keep mind as you guys. You got you got to get in there soon because somebody's gonna jump in and ask her to paint the entire collection of rum and bones. Right, right. And she's gonna be working for a while, so <laughs> you gotta slide it under that radar. Oh, I did want to show this. So now that... Matt says that knowing that he has the complete collection and I want to paint it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops! Let me jump back here to the intro screen real fast. Um, air server. <laughs> Just like we're getting air server. Okay, yeah, those look great. I open the door for my roommate to come inside. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Nah, screw that guy. He beats up on people when he plays card games. <laughs> Roughest <laughs> card games ever. But as she's as she's letting her roommate back into the house that she kicked out of the house, whoop, I just wanted to show you guys Amy's Amy's artwork. There's the Amy artwork, I think, that she was kind of following along with. So I thought, I, I thought yep. it turned out well. And I like that she did her own thing with the hair. You know, yeah, yeah. So this is the Amy art. I just wanted to put that up there. Um, but yeah, I think it. I think it turned out great. Uh, rock and roll. Thank you so much, Flo, for doing that. You brought her. You brought her. Yeah, we really appreciate it. It's so cool. Yeah, it's so awesome. So let's get into this game, guys. Let's get into the game, uh, and let's see who we're playing with. So tonight, guys, we're playing. We're, we're going to be playing a new mission here. Um, rock and roll mission eleven, the cleaners. Yep. So we're kind of jumping ahead. The last mission we did was mission four of the Angry Neighbors. So we're playing through the entire Angry Neighbors expansion. One, two, three, four, we've, we've accomplished. So we're jumping ahead, actually, to mission 11. Um, not that it's going to screw up any of the story or anything, but I really wanted to be able to get um, uh, Flo's A-bomb onto the board, potentially, so we could use it on air with her. I know we're going to be able to use Amy, but we wanted to be sure the A-bomb could come out with you guys. So you guys can yeah, see it. And so action. since uh, yeah, since missions eleven through fifteen in this Angry Neighbors expansion uses season three, um, we decided to start with this one. Um, just so we can we can show off the A bomb. That's right. That's right. And Maiji was asking about one deck dungeon. Yes, it's actually they're both base games, but it's kind of a standalone expansion, uh, Forest of Shadows. Um, so you, you both of them are great to have, and they're both gonna be awesome quality. So let's get into this, guys. Mission eleven, the cleaners. The town is getting more dangerous, and the supplies more scarce. By the week, we decided to ask around if anyone wanted to go with us to anywhere else, and the trip has been good so far. That is, until now. The dispensary shelter has been attacked and failed to resist. The bodies are still warm, and we hear zombies moaning behind the barred windows. We have to clean this place. Ah. If, it's not for, <laughs> if it's not for potential survi survivors trapped inside, it's for vengeance. Zombicide! <laughs> Dude, who's, this, <laughs> who's this handsome gentleman that we got represented over to the right? Well, you know. Oh, that's uh, uh, that's uh, that's uh, Johnny Gunman. <laughs> that's our companion, Jonathan uh, Gunman. Cool. So you'll yeah, be able Jonathan, to find Jonathan him. Jonathan Gunman. Yeah, you'll be able to find him when you pick up an objective, which Lyle's going to go over. But yeah, he's the gunner okay. uh, companion. He's okay. a good guy. He follows you around. You, you'd go on rides with him, seems, right, man? He looks like a good guy. His eye, he has kind he eyes. He does. He has very kind eyes, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and Matt, we, we didn't we didn't ask you about the mini. We didn't we didn't ask you about the minis that uh, Flo painted. We, 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 on the on the normal scale we do here, 
for the mm-hmm. company that likes to help us out with his games, how would you judge that many? The the, the you, normal you, scale. Would, I mean, would you say it's a cool mini or? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I I, I get what you're saying. Um, <laughs> hold on, put it back on the screen for a second. <laughs> Hmm. Get, turn it around. Let me see the other side. All right, give it a second. It's it's automated. <laughs> okay. Sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Cool mini. Cool mini. Cool mini. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Well, you better okay. say good things because I'm gonna have my hands on his miniature. Oh yeah, it's gonna soon. be great. I hope you. I hope you put all kinds of <laughs> Easter eggs inside his miniatures, like just like. <laughs> Like little little penises, like all like, like drawn in there. <laughs> oh come on, come on! <laughs> I don't know if you can even and see this. They do stuff like that. They just need to get me models from Kingdom Death. Oh yeah, yeah. I, oh. I was looking at the flying polyps flow painted for me up there on my my box. This is an example of something from Cthulhu Wars. These are smaller miniatures. Yeah, sorry, but yeah, I have to I have to bust some of those out. These things are amazing. Like you can't even see the detail. Like oh, are you showing on the something camera. right now? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. My bad. Oh, sorry, no, no, sorry. don't do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I forgot you were on the other screen. It's okay. I'll show. I'll, that'll be before, next break. Remind me next break, and I'll bu- at the first break, and I'll bust them out. Okay, cool. So let's get into this, Lyle. Tell us about the mission we're doing today. All right. So the objectives <laughs> we have to explore all the areas, uh, which means so we start in the uh, sort of the middle of the top over there, the blue player token. We have to get into these um, into this building and explore everything. We have to trigger all the event triggers, which are the green question mark tiles. Um, and so basically, when we are inside the building, in this, um, and so we trigger the event trigger tile. The rooms that are within that physical tile are the ones that sort of spawn. Um, and so we have to make our way around to all four of these physical tiles, um, spawn all those rooms. That's number one. Number two, we have to secure the area, which means we have to build a barricade at every open door um, so that we lock ourselves sort of in the building itself. Um, and so how we build barricades is one person will spend all uh, will spend three actions to do a partial barricade or an incomplete barricade. And then somebody else um, or, you know, you on your next turn can spend three actions to do a complete barricade. Um, everybody that... Um, participates in building the barricade gets five XP after the barricade is, is complete. And what it does is it stops uh, zombies from moving through it, but it doesn't stop line of sight. So basically zombies can stack on one side of the barricade and you can just start shooting them. Um, the only thing about barricades is that if we get a zombie activation um, and the zombies are right next to the barricade, when they activate, they will destroy the barricade. Oh, no. um, so there's that. And then, so once we make the barricades at the open doors, um, then we just have to clear out all the zombies on the inside, and then we win. Uh, so it's not like we have to exit anywhere. It's not like we all have to survive. Um, not it's not cool. like we have to pick up a certain amount of companions. We just have to get in there, trigger the event triggers, make some barricades where there are open doors, and clear out the zones. Um, so you'll see that there's a blue spawn point, and there's a pink spawn point within the um, within the building itself, in the top left and the bottom right. So. The special little thing, uh, special rule, is that if we make a barricade in that zone, then that spawn goes away. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, those red X's that are around are basically uh, just 5 XP if you pick them up. Um, one of those X's is actually going to be a blue X, which gives you a special equipment card, the La Guillotine. Um, gives you that for free. Um, the, the rest of the objectives that are just red will automatically award you a companion um so jonathan gunman pictured above is one of the is one of the um companions which is basically like having a pistol um there will be a sniper um which is basically like having a sniper rifle but it's four plus to hit instead of three plus um there is a handyman which helps you build barricades faster uh and then there's a searcher that gives you um you know plus one card to search so helpful little guys that you uh put in your inventory and I think that's it. Sweet. So yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to interrupt you, but uh, Shinja just joined the best camp on Twitch. I don't know why we didn't get a notification, but welcome to the best camp on Twitch. Let's give you the music. Oh, Shinja, thank you so much for the sub. Yeah, that is Shinja so awesome. Joining the best camp. Let's get some crit cheers. Everyone's saying what's up. I didn't see the notification. Hopefully, it's working. <laughs> but welcome to the best camp on Twitch, Shinja. It's awesome to have you. So there you go, guys. Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah. Any questions? <laughs> 
<laughs> Here's the board full, as Lyle's describing it, and there's our minis we're starting with up there. I actually made a, a swap, um, so I'm actually going to be starting with someone else, and let's get into that. Let's get into the, the rocking oh. and rolling uh, before we get into the strat. Um, so, Lyle, I swapped it up as you were talking, because when you mentioned the okay. barricades and shooting over them and stuff, I was like, I was going to go with Jack Nicholson, where I have a chainsaw, and I was like, this is not going to work. <laughs> so I'm going to start with Smith. <laughs> I'm starting with Smith, and I get... So I'm jumping in with Snake Plissken, Escape from Escape from L.A. We're going to do this thing right. Uh, Snake Plissken. Um, get yeah. plus free one combat action. Cool. He's OG. We call him Smitty. He's awesome. Um, but I get a free combat, and that's a lot of fun. Let's kill lots of stuff. Uh, Lyle, you're going with Bear? I'm going with Bear. Okay, since we're playing with Season 3 on this mission, um, I'm going with uh, the base set uh, character Bear. Uh, like playing with this guy because he's got that shove ability in blue. Yeah. Um, which is always pretty, pretty utility for us. Definitely. That's awesome. Yeah. So we got Bear. We used him a bunch. He'll also keep us alive. If, if, if uh, Flo's new, awesome looking uh, A bomb jumps on the board, we're going to need him to keep us alive <laughs> to push that thing away. <laughs> He'll be our bait, yep. basically. Uh, Matt, who you go with? Well, if my time on the tournament circuit has taught me anything, it's that Uncle Honk <laughs> Man is the correct move to go. <laughs> And any other decision is just stupid. So Uncle Honk Mains out there, give me a shout out. I'm going to be taunting some kids. So Matt's um, got what taunt. happens if I taunt into a barricade? Um. Well, it says select all it zombies. Just off it. Gain an extra activation mm -hmm. to try to reach the taunting survivor by all means available. I think they'll just stop. I think they'll stop at the barricade. Yeah. Yeah, boy. I think I. You yeah. know, because you're giving them an activation, but it's not like a card activation. I think the technical barricade rules yeah. just say a barricade activation card. Um, way to bring that up, Matt. Now we're gonna have a big argument about that. <laughs> uh, oh, was, uh, Robo Robo was was testing a bit here. I don't think anything happened. Oh, geez, am I getting Streamlabs issues? Well, no worries, no worries. Well, nothing's really on this one. So, uh, love flow. You're going with Amy. Your new best friend. <laughs> um, yeah, so you'll be going with Amy. I don't know if you're familiar with her character. Uh, but she's basically got the free move action. So she's we love Amy because she... What is it, Lyle? Yeah, she, uh, she does work. Amy <laughs> does work. Yeah, she has a job Always. and goes to work. Yeah, so we'll be able to <laughs> rock and roll, flying you around the board. Uh, you're going to have a lot of fun rocking and rolling there. Um, is it is it called Goth Amy because she's like a different skin, or is is it a different character? No, well there are uh, there are actually expansion versions of these characters, uh, okay, or okay. new Just versions of the characters, if you will. I don't know if it's considered new versions. Um, but I want to see business professional Amy. So oh, that's why oh, I, I see what Amy. you're saying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's like Ultimate Survivors and stuff like that that are more like OG, okay. or like OP and, and stuff like that. But yeah, we guys, we're bringing Amy back, and that's the pla painted mini by Flo herself. She'll be rocking yeah. Amy in this game. So uh, let's yeah. start. Oh, this thing Oden up. Odenheim is saying, "Oh snap, no Amy for for me." Uh, yeah, I want I want Flo to play Amy because Flo painted Amy. She made it so she, she yeah she she deserves to play the painted mini. <laughs> So the, the way this works is we get randomly distributed some equipment. Um, so we'll go over that. Uh, so Smith. Smith is going to be starting with the bow. Bear starting with the crowbar. Uncle Honk has got the fire axe. And Goth Amy will be starting with a crowbar. Um, uh, and I think Maje is saying that, they, that zombies will break the barricade on top. They won't or will? They will. Oh, they will. Okay. That's fun. That's that a good time. seems like I... Made a good choice, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'll, I'll taunt boys inside the building. All right, cool. Okay. Yeah, so there we go. So we got Smith. That's that's our starting thing here. Before we jump into the gameplay, Lyle, what are you drinking tonight, buddy? LaCroix? Uh, I, I flashed it on the screen before, um, but I'm, I'm having a very refreshing lime LaCroix. Matt, I'm what are you sorry, drinking, I'm, buddy? I'm trying to get hydrated. What are you drinking there? So I just finished off my first DP. Oh, nice. A big old DP for you. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, a big old DP. Waka, 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 waka. And then a flow. What are you drinking tonight? Our, our All right. Honor. <laughs> uh, I'm just having some strawberry lemonade. Oh, that's awesome. That sounds really refreshing, actually. Yeah, strawberry. that actually sounds really nice. Well, I'll be drinking a little something, something. <laughs> A little something, something. Is that blowing oh, up? Yeah, Lagunitas. Oh, Lagunitas. Lagunitas. Nice. My lighting's all messed up tonight, too. Tons of lighting in the front. I'm messing up. But yeah, little little something, something, guys. So cheers. Welcome, Flo. Let's get into this game. Let's let's win big. Let's win big. Boom. Welcome to the gameplay. <laughs> um, 
So I guess I'll start off. We'll be going left to right, basically. Um, no real strat. I mean, what's our strat here, guys? How do we want to do this? So to the left from where we start right here is a hole. So if we... Yeah, end that's up, really... Yeah. That seems like so something the, we don't want to go in. Yeah, so the rules with the hole is it takes plus two actions to get out. So you'll have oh, to geez. take your move action plus two yeah. to get out. So it takes three actions to get out of that thing. Um, that the good thing about the hole is that since zombies, uh, even the runners, which only have two activations or two actions, um, once they go in there, they'll never come out. Um, so basically, if they fall into the hole, then we can just shoot them. So the hole doesn't disrupt line of sight, but they just can't move out of it. So, do, is so it you correct? could taunt them. You could you could taunt things into the hole, and that would be kind of awesome. Okay, that is that would be awesome. So do, then, do we do we go like towards the pink location first, and like leave the hole for zombies to fall in? Like, because the blue aren't they just going to spawn from that blue point and just hop into the yep. hole? I'm thinking that's the right move. We go to the right, and maybe we work we work our way through the building clockwise or something. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I mean the door to the right is open. The door to the left is not open. Um, as soon as we go in there, it triggers all the zombies. Is this the way we're doing it? We're gonna go right to right, go clockwise. I think so. Goes. I'm cool. I'm cool with it. You guys are cool with it. Yeah. Oh, and you we also have these over... cards. Which ones do we want to start with, Lyle? Whoa. What does that mean? Oh, the team uh, stuff. So the, yeah, these are the team actions. We get to choose two of the three. Uh, to start this game with, but uh, once per play around, one any one of us can just pick one of the two that we've chosen and play it. Um, I like to choose the move as one, definitely. Yeah. It's just nice to sort of move yeah. everybody in. Um, and the other ones, uh, you know, one is a one is a ranged action, one is a melee action. So yeah, Shoot. whichever. I mean, considering the barricade mechanic. It sounds like it should be better. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do it. Shoot. Okay. Do Flo, it. if we're if we're fucking up, you let us know. <laughs> I need you to give us some input. Okay, so let's do this thing. Um, should I just lead it off and just go right into the building? Yeah, I mean, you could you could you can lead us in the building. Yeah, sure. You could team move us into the building too. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do a team move, guys. We're moving in. Let's rock and roll. Playing team move. I mean, we all move. So we have to get all these objectives, right? So we move in, now we spawn, guys. We don't have to get the objectives. The objectives just give us companions. But don't we and, need those? Uh, and or equipment card. Yeah. I will not leave this building without Johnny. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do our first zombie that. spawn, guys. So we're going to spawn. Uh, we have to spawn all four Jonathan. of these rooms. We'll probably, I'm going to start here. I'm going to go right this. So let's go around and okay. see what, I get, what we get first. Oh, nothing. No skinners. Nothing. Okay. No skinners. Oh, we got a seeker. Oh, okay, we got a seeker. This is Matt's first seeker. He's making clothes for Okay, we got the seeker. <laughs> okay, yeah, we got a skinner. Yeah. Oh, skinner. skinner. Dude. So the black is going to be all the seekers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the fatty, that's my awesome paint job, by the way. Uh, those blue walkers flow. Uh, <laughs> That's Spray actually paint? Really pretty. Uh, that's my paint job there. It's pretty good. These guys are usually gray. Yeah. That's how we do it here. Single color spray paint. But now you know what they are for the show, so it's good. Somehow a box arrives for me, and they're just like not assembled. <laughs> like I don't know how. There's another Skinner. Skinner. Okay. Okay. We have a Skinner with us means I can't shoot my bow at it because I'll hit you guys first. Um, but I can search. Right? No, I can't search with them in here. No, can you I? can't search with a zombie in your room. Right, I'm yeah. going to trade. Who's got something? Uh, yeah, you can take the... I'll go for you with your crowbar. Yeah, that's fine. Here, you can have a bow. Cool. David Bowie. That's cool. Uh, so I'm going to take the bow. We have my free combat action. I'm going to beat this thing to death. Here we go. Like that. Do it, Smitty. Making sure my sounds are working. I don't know what's going on tonight. Oh, big whiffer. Oh, jeez. Go for it again, Smitty. Come on, Snake Pliskin. Oh, lame. Snake Pliskin on, one time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow, 100% of the time you roll three every time. I roll That's, three cool. every single time, guys. Uh, 
All right. Welcome <laughs> to Crit Camp, uh, Flo. We're going to roll nothing but twos and threes, and <laughs> we're going to lose. So, like, great. just to understand, strategically, wouldn't it have been better to, like, take my weapon instead of Lyle so that that way hmm? we, he doesn't have to spend an action trading? Or am I misunderstanding the mechanics? Is that no, right? I well, mean, the idea was I would have killed it. Kill it. So he assumed he was going to kill it. So <laughs> then. <laughs> I, I, I think it was more okay, of a confidence okay. issue we ran into there. Yeah. Um, so I can do a, a couple things. So my shove ability lets me shove this guy that's in our zone into another zone. For free, yeah. I can leave him there, though, if, if we think one of our guys is um, confident to kill him. And I can just shoot into the next zone. Um, but you can't, with a bow, you can't kill the fatty. No, I can't kill the fatty, but I can kill the two, two walkers. Two damage to I, kill I also, Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to shoot. Uh, I'm going to shoot south. Okay. Well, I'll shoot south. To hit yeah. these walkers, we got a we got our bow sound effect. <laughs> oh, gets one, three See, again, dude! I literally three, rolled three. But three is a good to hit for this one. <laughs> Shouldn't have give up the bow, dude. <laughs> I know, dude. I would have been slaughtering. I should have just shot into the next room the whole time. All right, let's do this again. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's the first two of the night. Oh, guys. two town. Welcome to Two Town, guys. Yeah, I, have, I think I fixed the yeah. alerts, guys, so it should be good there. I feel bad that we missed out the subscriber thing, but we got the sound up. Um, and the bits yeah. are working. The cup's exactly. down there, guys. Thousand bits. Chris has to do burpees, Flo. Unless you want to do the burpees, Bit, which would be count cool. is 505, and that's, that is the correct... It says the correct number down there this time. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that's your bits, guys. Those are the cheers down there. All right, Lyle, you want to shoot one last time? Yeah, just shoot. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do this. One crit, one... Oh, Lyle's got two twos. Oh, God, yeah. Chris, really? I mean, this is this you, is getting funny. You reset the app. What's what's happening, dude? I can't wait till Flo goes and rolls all the. Crits. Really, he's got a dice that has only threes and twos. He's just doing <laughs> yeah. Dude, crack dice. <laughs> that's, crack what, dice. that's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Maddie Butts. Um, I guess Uncle H is gonna axe this kid in front of me. You're gonna do the job. Oh, You're gonna do gonna the job. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, Doug Missick, I cheered the cheers. Bits. Thank Thanks, you so Doug. much for the 100 bits. We appreciate that. He's going to fill the cup up, guys. Hopefully the number will adjust. Here we go. Matt's going for his first attack. I'm ready. <laughs> he gets a three. <laughs> oh, dear. This is actually really... <laughs> this is real bad, dude. Real embarrassing. This is why Matt doesn't play games with us, man. This is why he doesn't dude. play Zombicide. <laughs> dude. Matt, you want to kill him? Uh, I'll, I guess I'll go again. Okay, cool. It's a two. <laughs> Chris, Chris. This is a... Chris. All right, I Please. guess I have one other choice. Oh, just swing again. Just swing again, one more choice. And it's a one. It's, it's, not, it's a one. Oh, my God, Chris. Okay, so... It's up to Flo, so we don't take damage right off the bat. <laughs> Flo, Flo yeah, never gonna so play I it. guess I'm going to beat up this zombie that you guys can't. <laughs> yeah. One out of seven ain't bad, Flo. Come on. <laughs> One out of seven. <laughs> I just like that we're sitting in here, just like, <laughs> just <and> then close. <laughs> we look like a bunch of bumbling idiots. Okay, here she goes. The crowbar. Dude, this is awful. Oh, she got the two Dude. as well. Oh, I hope we die to the first wave of zombies. Welcome to that would Town, be guys. Really funny. Yeah, okay, that would be right. that would be amazing. Okay, you ready, Flo? You want to attack again? Yeah. I just leave them flow run right away. Oh my god, it's a three. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Some, this is it. We have to believe. We have to believe. We have to believe. Here we go. One time. One time. Oh Here. my god, we're going to get bit, dude. We're going to lose it in the story. going to get attacked because we rolled. Well, I, I use the term we loosely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I literally just what? rolled nine threes. Yeah, this could be like the worst. This could be the worst start we've ever had. I've ever. never. This is so statistically <laughs> unlikely. It blows my mind. <laughs> well, that was one out of ten. That was ten percent hit chance. Guys, as a team, as weapon. a team, we are the worst zombicide team ever. Welcome oh, to the best camp uh, on Twitch, Flo. Welcome to the best camp. The people come here to learn. How I to mean, crit. I mean, with with weapons that are four plus, dude, fifty percent, fifty percent. Yeah. Have you been to Vegas with me? <laughs> Oh my I have actually. I have. I, I, I have been to Vegas. We've with you. invested a lot of money. Thing, the only good things that happen in Vegas is we eat at In and Out. Right. It's like <laughs> so. That's a good thing, though, dude. All right, so yeah, we take really. damage. I, I've just oh, dude, it is, there, it is so. a really You've never thing. been in In and Out. No, I've never been to Vegas. Oh, oh. I grew up in California. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, that's where I get In and Out. 
California. Mm. Um, oh, the other good thing about the other good thing about Vegas is what was it? You can get um, a fifty-piece nugget for like eight dollars at Excalibur or whatever. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that is good. That <laughs> yeah. is a good thing about Vegas. It is good. They also have an arcade there. <laughs> Arguably the best thing about Vegas. arcades. Yeah, yeah, arcades are pretty cool. I'm in for the arcade. Yeah, I went to Vegas for the arcade. That's why I went. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we take a, we take um, a damage, so guys. So who's taking this hit? So we have to leave. Lose You're the taking this hit, Chris. What? what? This is your <laughs> fault. <laughs> <laughs> this okay. is your I'll fault. I'll take it because I'm a good guy. I'll take it even though I didn't roll as many twos as you did. It's fine. It's fine. I'll Are take there it. like healing potions in this deck? No. What? No. Okay. Um. No, not in this And if they added like season three healing potions or something. No, you can get um, uh, you can get the ability, but I don't think any of us have medic. Yeah, medic is a special. Uh, right. I so, think Amy gets in like red. So we got one hit already. We roll yep. as bad as Will Wheaton. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> so, he splits. Uh, I think that I think that <laughs> seeker splits. Yeah. Yep. Seeker oh splits. God. We just doubled up our seekers, and we we have f- how many zombies with us? Three. <laughs> If we get seeker activation, it's gonna be great. Yeah, and now we have to spawn. So <laughs> oh, that's have to roll. real so funny. In season three, you roll for what spawns happen and where they happen. So we roll four dice. Yep. All right, so it'll happen. Oh, hey, look, look. Physically, you also roll all those twos. That's cool. I did. I rolled three twos <laughs> physically in a in a crit. That's awesome. So we got. So they'll spawn up in the top first, which is great because they're all right next to us. This is the best game we've yeah. ever played. I appreciate the consistency, dude. Yeah, no problem, dude. It's really all, all about twos and threes consistent. all night, guys. Welcome Switch. to Two Town. Welcome to Two Town. So zero, nothing <laughs> happens. Uh, activation. Um, don't have to yep, do it. No so activation. Happens. Yep. We got one Skinner. Okay. Skinner. That's a Skinner runner. What? So wait, what? I'm sorry. What causes him to spawn on blue and pink then? Um, I think like after we spawn these uh, number ones, then we just spawn on the blue and the pink. Oh, that's true. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah, I think they're treated as just normal spawns. As like as like extra extra spawns. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Matt. Sweet. Good call. I was gonna. I'm glad I could help. <laughs> Good. Thanks for making this worse. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we got Seekers. So now the Seekers will move into our room with us, by the way. Yeah, so they activate. <laughs> so that Seeker goes down to me. Yep. That was number four. Those other ones move into our room. All right, now do the uh, the blue one and then the, the pink one. We're going to have to kill these things. If if they activate, we could we're going to get beat up. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna, get two, yeah, we're gonna take another two wounds if you spot another secret I'll do it card. Pink and then blue. Okay. Two skinners. <laughs> now do blue and then pink. Okay. Okay. Last one. Nothing happens. Okay, we survive, guys. We get okay. another chance. Okay. 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 Hope for the best. <laughs> Maybe Hope some burpees the would help. Like the Maybe rest. they would, but it, ca- it costs uh, four hundred more bit. All right, Matty Butts, typing right. away over there. We have move or shoot now available to us again. We can only use one. Okay. Um, but we can't use the shoot because we, we need at least two people with ranged weapons. We right. only have one ranged weapon. Right. Right now. Well, so then, here's the you thing. Know, you shoot your companions first. Yeah, you shoot your companions first if you shoot in the same zone. Don't shoot your friends. Uh, yeah, friendly fire. So here's the thing, guys. Like, Do I shove all of these... Into another zone, and Six. then start shooting them with the bow. Do I leave them in the zone here no, and just trade for a melee there. weapon? Five zombies, guys. We just gotta beat um, them to death. Yeah, you don't get to do anything. If oh, you don't that's right. You can them. shove them. You can shove them, but then we all yeah, have I to can move shove out. them. I mean, but I can bring them back to us after he shoves them. Because I'm a professional honker. That's true. <laughs> So yeah, right. let's so, do the old. Yeah. We, we call this the old tidal wave, Lyle. All right. Yeah, yeah. The old. You the old ebb and I flow, or whatever. Okay. Here we go. Push them. Push them. Oh, it's the push pull. The push pull. Yeah. This yeah, is why. This is why on 
This is our signature move. Yeah. We did this last time we played. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I, we need some next level plays like right now because this is embarrassing. We bring flow on and then okay. we just die in like the first thirty minutes. <laughs> we we made it. We made it a whole one room. I wanted to impress. That's really sweet. <laughs> I was trying to be impressive. <laughs> That's where you went wrong. Yeah. I came here to yeah. watch you all fail. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so are you pushing? Yep. This way. Just waiting for you to do them. Yep. This way. I like that you got like a okay. southern accent there, Lyle. Your Tennessee's coming out. Just waiting for you to do them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Getting, getting good. Oh, yeah. all right. uh, so shoot right. the bow. Okay, he's going to shoot this bow. This is where everything turns around, dude. This is... <laughs> yeah. This Yo, is where it's one. Yeah. No, see, oh, see, there you go. I, I and um and I choose the the seeker because it's in the same priority as the regular. That's yep. correct. Shooting again. This is yep. going good. Good. It, it, this is where it turns around. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Oh, I'll hide. All right. Okay. There this is where it turns around. <laughs> right here. Right here. Right this one. This one right here. There you go. Let's get the right. other seeker. Okay. But it's a three. Right on. Yep. Yeah, I think you've only rolled a single five. four plus. Yep. Just yeah. Out of that five that you just did. That was the thirteen only... dice. Thirteen yeah. dice. Yeah. Thirteen dice. You rolled one four plus. And you were there for <laughs> that. <laughs> and you were there for it. I was. I was. Um, I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna. This move is called the undertow. I'm gonna pull them back in. Pulling. And then I'm gonna use the momentum. With my fire axe. <laughs> the momentum? I like what you're doing there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is so, going to be sick. So basically you went like... <laughs> oh, the undertow. Uncle Honk oh, honked his air horn, was like, air, air. Then he whipped out his fire axe and goes... Whoop. Yeah, gets one with a five. Nice. Yeah, so you can get a little fatty. Kill that fatty, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I put a Skinner fatty out on accident. It should have been a regular, but whatever. You killed it, it's dead. That's it's all that dead. matters. Okay, so swing it again. Okay. Oh, you can't. It might have rolled off screen, but it's a... It's a oh, okay. oh, it's our first crit of the night. We just needed to do the tidal wave, Lyle. Yeah. We needed to... Yes. Matt's come yes. out. <laughs> Matt gets the crit, crit, crit. Crit's for the people. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah do you yeah. want to kill the Skinner, probably? Over the white red. Oh, yeah. Marker? Yeah, because w w we didn't roll one, right? right I didn't realize you could yeah. roll before you chose your target. Yeah, definitely a Skinner, then. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can shoot, but since it's melee, you can choose whatever you want. We got one more left. And clear this. Let's do it. The blue are, are regular zombies, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and of course, a three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. So if it's two town, welcome to three city. Yeah, we're definitely in three. Three <laughs> we're, we're in three city. Yeah, three real dude. <laughs> That's right, Yemen. What's going on, Yemen? This so just, animation looks awesome. Zombie. All right, Amy. <laughs> Amy's gonna finish it off. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Flo's, Flo's like, yeah, I'm going to kill this thing. Oh. <laughs> this is actually what? bananas, dude. Yeah, dude. I, I don't know what's going on. This is like, again. like I don't even oh, know. Flo bad, gets a crit for the bad. people. Okay, that's a crit. Yeah, that's okay. a crit. <laughs> Flo gets a crit for the people. Yes, crit for the people. I had to make up for the oh, yep. Yeah, that's right. Let's get some yeah. crits for Flo. Crits for Flo. Yep. yep. It says Amy does Let's the work. Do Amy came in and hanged 10 on the top of the tidal wave to finish off the last zombie. That's right. <laughs> hey, 10. Gnarly, bro. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Ride, riding giants, dude. All right. So you have two more actions. Yeah, yeah. You have a free move and a regular action flow. So we have, a, now, we have an she, X with us. Can she barricade here? Can she barricade that door shut? No, it takes, it, it, no, it takes three, three actions to start a barricade. Ah. Uh, I can do that And, next and you can't burn, like, a move action on it. Like, you have to... Three no, it has to be a regular okay. action, yeah. Um, okay. You, we are standing on an so, objective, X, that you could pick up and get a companion, I believe, right? Do yeah. you not get the 5 XP also in this version, or do you? You get 5 XP for it. Oh, that'd be Might sick. Might as well do it. Yeah, Flo, go over there and loot that. Flo place. ain't scared. Flo ain't scared. Flo ain't scared. It's scared. Cool. Scared, scared. Yep, that is a companion and 5 XP. So if we, what are we looking for in these? Just companion. Johnny, my friend Jonathan. Okay. Yeah, Jonathan Gunman. Yeah, you're not looking for anything in particular. These are just helpful. And she goes up to uh, six. She goes up to six, sorry. Okay, six XP. And then she gets to choose out of our companions. It's random? Yeah, she gets a random one. Yeah, oh, it's random a random companion. All right, here we go, Flo. You've got a searcher. 
Oh, okay. So there's what a searcher does for there you. Yeah. Oh, that's that's real cool. Yeah. Yeah, Eddie, uh, old Eddie Searcher. I'm into the companions. I'm also still not leaving here without Jonathan Gunman, so, so if we don't find him in the deck, <laughs> I'm staying here to die. So that little guy goes wherever you go now. Jonathan! So now you have four, you have four card slots, and you get a free well, search. Move. Or you get two cards just per search. Just move to the right for now. You want to go to the right? Okay. Okay. Yep. She goes yep. right. Like that. Is she setting up watch towards that garbage heap down there? goes that way okay ends the turn do we get xp for triggering these event triggers lyle no okay and i, I saw something in the rules in regards to like what i'm just gonna jump over here real fast what don't we get xp for so basically in other in other missions when you pick up a companion it also gives you five xp but okay. in this mission picking up the objective automatically gives you the companion so oh you if you find XP. the blue objective card you get xp though and you, you get like you find the blue objective, you get you always get five XP for picking up an objective. Oh, but okay. with the blue XP, you get like guillotine instead of a companion. Why does this say companion card without additional experience gain? Because usually, <laughs> I just I just said this because uh, usually when you pick up companion token, it gives you five XP. Oh, but in this game, there are no companion tokens. You're just picking up an objective, which gives you a companion. So instead of getting ten XP. Oh. For getting an X and a companion, you you're only getting five oh, XP. Oh, so yeah, I love it when Chris no. asks me questions and I give him answers, and then he asks the same question again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least that happens to me with way. the others and stuff. I, yeah, at least too. I said it a different. Thank you, Flo. I like Flo. She's nice. Okay, dude. Okay, so now roll better. <laughs> yeah, they, oh, oh, now we have to pull this out. Okay, crit horn, crit horn. That means you just fit in well at the camp. Okay, so I'm going. Should I start our? Should I start the barricade? I could drop three uh, actions yeah, on start, this. Yeah, you can start the barricade. Because we're gonna have this that, runner. That runner's still her. gonna get through. Um, because you can still walk through incomplete barricades. Uh, yeah. Uh, Robo Jonathan's last name is Gunman. There we go. Okay, I started the barricade, and I have a free combat action, which I can do nothing with. So I'm gonna end my turn and probably die next turn. In turn. Okay, zombie turn. Yep. All we right. have a runner with us. Skinner runner. Let's do okay. the zombie activation here. Ah, oh, jeez. Then we'll take our first Wait, edit. Wait, the dice. The dice. Oh, right. Let's see where this goes. It's going to be a Skinner zombie, the first one. All right. Two, three, three. Look at that. So Who would have known? We got a Skinner. We got one Skinner. Skinner! And we got two Skinners. Skinner! Scary. And then we got... Oh, guys. You just, you know what oh, just happened here. Oh, no. no. Right. Dude, this is bad. This is genuinely right bad. there. This is real bad. By Flo. Yeah. There it is. She got it. She got I mean, it. I'm happy that we get wow. to play with Thanks, play Flo. Really yeah. the bomb, but You're really welcome. appreciate all the help you gave us, Flo. Great. <laughs> You're fucking welcome. Real, real glad. <laughs> you wanted it. <laughs> okay. Well, the bomb is now on the board up there. It'll come walking down and kill us. Wait, can a bomb just break through barricades now? Dude, I would think so. I think if they not, can. I'm gonna laugh at. I him. think the I think the rule with um, bombs, they can just destroy barricades. Maje, can you can you look that up uh, in the Pretty chat? Sure. Just look that up. And then the last one's another Skinner. I think a bomb will just destroy. A skinner. Barricade. Might have to just let it chill until we can kill this thing. I'll see if I can find the bomb. Barricade okay, then we're doing too. blue and then pink, right? Was what we were doing. Blue. Oh, yeah, we, we got blue. crawlers, guys. Um, in beds. The tiles we occupy. I think there's one bed in there, right? Yep. Blue beds, right? Okay. Sean is saying no, they can't. But Maja is also looking it up. So let's let's wait for the uh, the double source. Hope for the best. Oh, oh seekers, guys, we got some seekers. Okay. 
He goes there. All right, he moves up. Rock and roll. All right. All right, Honky Tonk. Honky Tonks, you got a runner with us. Skinner Runner. I'm really bright. Maddie? Hello? Can I help at all? Matt. I don't know why my camera's so bright. Matt? Hello? Matt. What? I'm Matt. sorry. Oh. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're <laughs> you're Hello? <laughs> It's my go. He was in the Sorry. tank, dude. I was, I was, looking, up, I was looking up the rules for the, You're the, the mad crap. Tank. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Okay. okay, I think actually I'm going to go and begin construction on a barricade. I'm going to spend three actions on this barricade right here. Oh, you're going to finish my it's barricade then? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Or do you, you don't think I should? No, you can. No, it's great. But we have a runner with us. Yeah, I mean, someone's got to kill it. I'm not going to be able to. Oh, well, one of us can oh. kill it. Well, do uh, you want me to... No, do it, dude. This is one of the objectives. Okay, I'm okay. Well, You're then, gonna level yeah, up let's... to yellow though, and I will also level up. I think. Oh well, then, do we wait a turn? Aren't they like if they get an extra activation, they're gonna come in here, right? All right, you know what? I'll let Lyle do it. I'll let I'll let Lyle to the victory of the spoils. I'll a I'll okay. axe the zombie, dude. Okay, axe the zombie. Here we go. Hack the planet. Wait, what's it out? Kills him. No problem. It's the easiest thing I've ever done. <laughs> All right, so the thing that's hanging out with Flo, is that like a... That's, that's her a companion. Searcher. That's her companion. That's her companion. That's her buddy. Oh, she gets a little boyfriend. She gets yeah. a little searcher yeah. buddy. I don't know what All you right. were doing, man. Were you writing your essay or something? You're no, like I was looking up the thing thing. Tank, like, I was looking up the just hear your keyboard going... It's like, now I'm writing my novella, dude. I was performing in my new telenovela. Yes. Okay. Sure. Walk me south, Never been less Please. And for crawlers, it's just they're just you just hit them, right? Uh, he's in the next room over, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I, I know, but I mean, like it's just a regular roll yeah. on my weapon. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna only do the the Search? flow the, the the flow on this. So pull it in, not the ebb. Oh, you're gonna pull it. Yeah. Kill. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna taunt this idiot, and I'm gonna he pulled. smack it to him, dude. You're just gonna dude, crush nice. his skull and pull him right out of that blue bag. <laughs> Oh, you did! Yeah. With a crit, dude. Gets the dude, there's a reason Uncle Honk is dominating the tournament scene. <laughs> like, trying to tell That's you right. guys I this. forgot that. I forgot that. Dude, S tier, dude. S -tier. <laughs> yeah, he's S tier for oppression. S tier. All right, so so we get we we have some new information in the chat. Um, Maje and Sean are saying uh, this A bomb can grab you over the barricade. It just pull you in with it, though, right? And pull you in, but um, I think they're saying that it doesn't break it. It doesn't break it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the 3D barrier. It doesn't break, break it, but it can grab you through it. It breaks into... Oh my gosh, guys, it does. So I have a barricade mini, and it breaks into two parts to make an incomplete barricade. Oh, I didn't know that, guys. Sean, thank you. Thank you for that. Let's take Uh, JXM says we're under-equipped, aren't we always? Yes. Uh, Welcome to Crit Camp. <laughs> Welcome to Crit Camp. Oh, yeah, we got a search and stuff. That, that true. Yeah. That true. Okay. It's Flo's turn, and she gets an extra card whenever she searches. Yeah, I guess she can start searching away. Yeah. If Flo, she... you can search once, once per turn. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and search. She throws up a search. Boom. You get two cards. Oh, you got the hand cannon. And a LaCroix. Very nice. Three dice. Three plus hmm. one damage. So this searcher you can put back And then you have to here. reload that, though. And then, yeah, you, you got to take little, an what we call the LaCroix, which is the energy drink. It gives you an extra action when you use it. So Yeah, you can just discard that card to get an action. Chug a lug. Boom, now you have range. Alan Searchum's kicks ass. Yeah, I didn't now realize Amy just... is, like, rad. <laughs> yeah, and he doesn't count as an inventory slot. Alan Searchum's is awesome. Yeah. Alan yeah, Searchum's. <laughs> God, that guy's sick. I should okay. start be the yield sign. I know. Okay. Are we finishing this barricade right. or well, searching? She's still got. Uh, I can. Well, yeah, she's still I got can two finish. actions and a move action. Oh right, that's right. She's one XP away from leveling up. It's up to you, uh, Aimster. Here. Moving forward. The old Aimster. You can move forward. There's an objective there. If you want to go into yellow. Yellow puts us all in yellow. I mean, it puts it makes the game more yeah. difficult. But I think we're gonna level up next time, anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. <laughs> She's awesome. If you go in there and if you go Dude, in there and take I like it, it. Then we're all gonna be 
a lot of XP behind you, but you got to do you. No, but but when I pick up the when I do the barricade, at least two of us are going to get five XP for. Oh, for doing that's that. right. That's right. Yeah, I'm going to. So it'll just yeah, be. Yeah. It'll be classic. Just whine and complain, Honkos. Matt. Whine and complain. Under level. No. <laughs> Thank you, Flo. It'll be under leveled. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Where? Under leveled. You guys Where? are gonna. I'm under leveled. You guys are gonna taste the music later. Yeah. yeah taste it. So you're gonna when level it. one Uncle Honk just wants to talk <laughs> level, more. Level, level one. one you're, all you're, you level three is running up. around. You're further ahead than my dude. So you're gonna pick up this X then? Yep. Okay, she's picking it up, guys. She's picking it up. Let's see what it is. Let's see if we get the blue. Let's see if she gets an awesome, another awesome weapon. Where's my drum roll? <laughs> Matt's gonna be so mad when she picks up Johnny Gun. <laughs> well, they, they can be traded just like any individual. Yeah, they can be traded. Yep. As long as we save Johnny Gunman. Regular X. Okay. So that's a level up for Flo. Oh, got a cat, oh. on, cat on the lap. Cat on the lap. It it's is. a cat. Cat on the lap. Cat hype? Oh, Mosley. Mosley cat. I had to kick mine off the computer. <laughs> he was trying to <laughs> Oh, show the cat. That. Love the cat. <laughs> there are no cats in America. Whoa. <laughs> I think I just blown Oh, and Reld, I, I like that in chat that you, you keep adding umlauts into like all of these names. That's great. Alan Serpjones. <laughs> Dude, I told I, I said that I said in Johnny Gunman's name that I think there was an umlaut and he found it. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I didn't, I didn't see you actually. All right, you got that. two more actions there, yes. Flo. It's awesome. Thanks, Rel. It's up to you what you want to do. Well, okay, I moved forward, searched the objective. Did you get me my companion? You don't get a companion. He didn't flip the. Uh... Oh. No, she does yeah, get a companion. Get... She's right. She does get a companion. She does yeah. get a companion. Oh, Flow right. next level, right. please. Flow is. Flow is on this better than back. me. Oh, so Flow read yeah. the rules and we didn't. <laughs> okay, she goes for it. <laughs> oh, you get handyman. Oh, handyman. Okay, so. Oh, good. I was yep, hoping for that. Yep. Minus one action to um to build a barricade, and you can also build barricades anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Also use this guy to open doors. Silently, he's pretty good. So you've got you've got a whole crew going. Okay, hold on. And then you have one more action. Oh, Robo says we need a name. I'm, I'm working on it. Hold on. <laughs> we need a name. Handle <laughs> Ruffington. Ruffington. <laughs> That's his name. Sweet. No problem. <laughs> yeah, old Ruffles. Wow. Handless <laughs> Ruffington. <laughs> wow. Okay, Flo, you got one more action. It's up to you if you want to move into this next room. If you do, you will trigger that event, and we have to spawn six rooms. We don't spawn the hole, but you can no, just hold can... I'm going to wait, and I'm going to move to the left. Okay. Okay. I'm having trouble seeing what he's doing. So mm -hmm. You spend one action to do what? What? With a handyman. Oh, so handyman, you can, you can use him like a crowbar or a fire axe to open the door. He silently opens a door um, for an action, mm -hmm. and then his passive ability is that he—it's—it um, takes one less action to Objective start or achieved. complete a barricade. So just two actions. So I cool. just finished the barricade yeah. for us. I finished the barricade. Sweet. Okay. So you get five. XP. Oh, so you get so you get ten XP. You stole all the XP for yourself. Okay. I thought I only get five. I think he still. I think it's oh, get everybody five. who contributed gets. Yeah, five, you get five. So. You get, yeah, everybody that, that that does it gets five. Yeah, so, so you could have spread that love around, but you took it uh -huh. yourself. That's cool. Yep. <laughs> oh, Lyle, we're gonna have a couple. I had no ones. XP. I Roman couldn't kill dolls. crap. Oh, jeez. I couldn't kill crap. So okay. I got yeah, it. complete that. Complete that back barricade. It's done. In my turn. My turn's done. I've done my job. Now it's your turn. You can give my okay. bow back. <laughs> I have nothing. Um, <laughs> I'm going to search. Okay, good. And then maybe you'll get something cool and give me my bow. So. Yeah, you're going to get pulled over the barricade Oh, now, cool. We got an energy move. drink, bro. Ah, oh, sweet. Oh, I am going to get All pulled right. over the barricade. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that seems really bad. How do you get back on the other side of the barricade? <laughs> Come through a different door. I'm going to die. Did, did we just lose the game? Yeah, we, that, well, no, we don't, we don't need Chris to win. I don't the have game. to survive. <laughs> we actually. don't have to all survive. God. So you got to look Did you just screw up, dude? Yeah, dude, he just made But if really I didn't awesome if I didn't play. do it, if I moved off and Lyle moved off, we just wouldn't have built the barricade. No, I would have leveled up into yellow, gotten an extra action, and then moved. <laughs> Robo says we could <laughs> spawn another A bomb to pull me back over. <laughs> <laughs> can I taunt you into our room? Uh, oh, no, no, we can do a group move. No. Lyle, I can call that. I can do 
uh, Lau can oh, call oh, group yeah, move. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can use, okay. I can use group move. Okay, oh, I'm going to okay, use group move. Next level, move okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, little freak out. Okay. We're good. It's not, it's we're not good. RIP, It's not guys. over. It's not over. <laughs> okay, uh, Lau, you have two more actions. Chris? <laughs> two more actions. <laughs> All right, Chris, hop in my Bjorn. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, group action. I want all the XP. And I want you to drive me away from the door. Screw you, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess we, we don't want to trigger the next tile yet, so I guess I'm just going to chill. <laughs> That's it? That's it. Okay. In turn. Okay, guys, that could have been epically bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. We have some good friends with us. I, I, I like... I need to search... One of these days, but I'm also level one. Okay, spawn time, spawn time. <laughs> yeah. And if I don't make it to that X before Chris or Flo, we know it's gone. So, <laughs> like, I've had a haul ass. <laughs> no, no, you can only you can only have two companions in inventory at a time. So, if like, so if let's say Flo picks up the next Skinner. objective, she'll get the XP, but she can't hold on to that companion. I don't think. Yeah. No. I mean. So I think like the companion just is in the spot. Wait, it, it just chills based there. Yeah. Upon Oh, wait, what just happened with the barricade? Oh, it's I, mean, a I, think, runner. I think Chris will do it. The zombivores. I forgot we're in yellow now. We're in yellow now. So then this oh, is uh, so we got two another skinner runner. Oh, jeez. So they're gonna come at okay. us fast. And then we got a regular is... two skinners. Skinner. Yeah, two skinners. What's that tag on the floor in the bathroom mean? Ten V. That's the tile number. So when I'm building the map, uh, it's the map uh, tile. Okay. But it's cool because okay. I did it in like spray paint for fun. I thought it was like a local zombicide gang. Cool. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, like throwing up those gang symbols. Yeah. Uh, blue beds. Yes. Yeah, they I do never do realized that. the silhouette. Well, one moment. <laughs> Locked your room. Oh my god. Guys, we just got another what? A bomb. Which a means that one bomb. activates? Um, no. Isn't there only supposed to be one? Which means he on breaks through the barricade, right? Oh, is that the no, rule? He only activates. He only activates if we don't have another mini to put on the board. Flo might have a point. Flo might have a point. What? I think there only is allowed to be one A bomb on the board at a time. Right. Which means that that one would activate and smash through the barricade according to the barricade rule. I think. Which is really. Funny. I don't know if it gets an activation though. No, I thought that was the deal. Is if you had to activate something. Well, I have isn't another A bomb. I have another A bomb. I have another A bomb mini. It Hold comes on. With two. What is we it that causes barricades? We need to look up the rule on that. What causes barricades to be smashed? Is it just if you draw an extra activation card? Yeah, but what I'm saying is I don't think they activate. Abominations no, I, don't I, activate. Okay. Yeah, okay. there's uh, there's a, yeah the, the two ways that that uh, zombies activate is one if you get an activation card that says it specifically, and the other one is if you don't have um, another mini in your pool of that type to put on the board then all of those minis of that type will activate. For some reason, mm -hmm. what Flo's bringing up is what I totally remember reading, too, is that there can only ever be one on the board at a time. They're like Highlanders. Well, yeah, let's say like Highland. <laughs> 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 there, can only, there can only be yes. one. Yeah. Yes, yeah. totally. No, where, where the hell is that? I swore that's true. Dude, can we confirm that? I, I I this call he doesn't open. see a limit. He doesn't see a limit on abominations. Neither do I. I, I. I mean, it could be. I've I've brought out multiple abominations before, and I they bring they give you two for a reason. Yeah. Okay. Because you like to have fun, and we're about <laughs> to have fun. Let's do it. <laughs> doesn't even talk about the aim. Oh, I'm looking on the wrong rule book. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like he's like looking in the others. I'm looking reading at the his, rule book for his <laughs> car owner manual. <laughs> Wait, did you guys know that you can, uh... <laughs> Hot and fresh out the kitchen. <laughs> no, uh, Sean, apparently, I think what they were saying about the barricade was that it, it's only if you draw the extra activation cards or if you have to draw a zombie, it counts as an extra activation. So, so the is, that's the is... only thing you're saying breaks barricades, right? Well, he's right with the Seekers, though, because when you... Because the their, their whole special thing is is they get an extra activation when you pull a card. So anything that gives you an extra activation will break the barricade. Gotcha. Okay, so we don't want any seekers outside because that'd be bad. Dot news. Dot bear. Dot gov. 
Yeah, dot gov, dude. Totally yeah. dot gov. Yeah. Um, uh, Maje is saying a bomb does not activate. Eric is saying don't see anything about have not allowed to have more than one. Um, you know, it could have been on that video that you sent me. Mm, okay. Dude, let's big. let's put it Maje, out. Maje, Maje says if you can't place another a bomb abomination because you lack the mini, you place a Skinner fatty and it's two Skinner Walker escorts with it instead. Okay. Dude, let's let's just throw out another a bomb. Yeah, throw it out. There, like grown up. Right here. I forgot to move We're that spinner it. down there it. at the pink spawn. So. Oh, he's next to the pit. Oh, dear. <laughs> that seems bad. Yeah, we just have to kill it later. He just get, he'll get stuck in there, but... Okay, so... No, is he going to get stuck in there? He's no. going to, like, walk all the way around. He's going to walk over the plank, dude. Yeah, he's going to walk over the plank at first, though. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to find <laughs> Molotov, two Molotov cocktails to kill these things, guys. Sure. Uh, no big deal. I mean, it's yeah. actually not a problem. Because we we because we spend so many actions searching. Uh, I mean, this guy doesn't remember how the ebb and flow works. If he thinks we're gonna need two Molotov cocktails, <laughs> no, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so yeah. crap. Okay, so that's the zombie spawn there, guys. Uh, we're now gonna be dead to rights. So let's go over here and take our first edit break. We're gonna be heading back for mission uh, uh, part two. Uh, we spent some time introducing flow, and now we're in some major situations. Uh, bad news bears. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good, dude. We're fine. We're we fine. good. We good. Flo, yeah. how are you feeling we so good. far? Fine. <laughs> She's like enjoying watching you fail at all of the roles. <laughs> okay. Flo, well, you <laughs> fit in perfectly here. <laughs> yes. This is pretty much why I think everyone's hanging out in chat right now. <laughs> enjoying watching you fail. All right, guys. So we'll be back for part two right now.